Hey Lenny's and Bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel. I am back at the desk. I have my umbrella lights finally. I'm ready to go. And furthermore, I'm back in LA. So yes, it was a long month that I left LA. I was in India and Mexico. And I have to say guys, you know, India was just an amazing, amazing, beautiful trip that is honestly indescribable. You guys saw our last two videos and I think you can even tell from the videos, you know, that it was a very transformative trip. I met a lot of great people. I loved meeting our fans. But without further ado, today's video is how to make your rabbit live longer. Like what have I done to increase Lennon's lifespan? She's nine now, which is old lady for rabbits, okay? That's like 80 years old or something in, in human years. She's still peppy and perky and her usual sassy self. Now, of course, you know, Lennon, she's had her blips along the way. She had her lump situation. She's had other little things, you know, eye problems and stuff, but she's great really for the most part and we've gotten a lot of that taken care of you know the lump thing i'm still monitoring it but it hasn't grown so i thought it would be cool to be able to share with you guys what i've done personally to keep lennon healthy and alive all these years the average domestic rabbit lifespan is between 8 to 12 years give or take and of course all of that is going to depend on a variety of factors such as your rabbits breed their diet their exercise the quality of their food, etc. But we're seeing now that rabbits are living, some, some of them, 14 to 15. I mean, those are rare exceptions, but it's being seen more and more. And the reason being is because there are all these new developments in the rabbit community about proper rabbit care. See, 30, 40 years ago, when rabbits were being kept in tiny cages and being fed carrots all day long, they were only living two to three years. They developed a reputation for being not very reliable animals, maybe just like starter pets for your kids. And we know now that that's not true, that they're actually very complicated animals. They can live as long as a dog can, and they require a lot of maintenance. So here are my top secrets for a long, healthy rabbit life. So the first thing I do is I keep Lennon active. I would say in the past three to four years, she's slowed down significantly in the sense that she's not really running around, doing binkies, sprinting across the room, being as hyperactive as she once was when she was a young adult or a baby. We don't want your rabbits to always be inert and lazy and then they're gaining weight and then they're obese and then they've got all these other issues. So one little trick that I do is I grab a treat, and yes, she knows exactly what a treat is. I ask her if she wants her treat, and she will sprint across the room for that treat. And then I'll do the same thing at the opposite end of the room and kind of go back and forth so that she's now doing laps around the room. And some of you may say, oh my God, that's so mean, you're teasing her. I'm really not. I mean, it, I'm making her work for the treat a little bit, which is fine. That's like how it should be, you know? Because you don't want your rabbits to just become obese. Okay, the next trick is that I feed her three meals a day as opposed to one or maybe two, which I think is like what most people do. I could be totally wrong on my theory, but I really do believe that dispersing the food into three meals a day, again, contributes to the mobilization of her gut. Also, what I like about this schedule too is it activates her three different times a day as opposed to just like the one day feeding which i don't know if it were me like i would be starving i can't do that some people really only feed once a day i don't i don't know how they do that the next trick here is that she free roams and this has been our bread and butter her whole life and this whole channel is about that i really believe with every fiber in my being that her being a free roamer has really contributed to her long life as well because they've got to be able to jump and hop and run and sniff and explore. That's just who they are as animals. And so when you strip that away from them, not only are they not getting the exercise they need, but it affects their mental health. Just like humans, 
if if our mental health is not well, well, we're less likely to live as long, you know, we're gonna develop all sorts of issues. And the same goes for them. So a free roaming bunny is a happy bunny and a happy bunny is a healthy bunny. Next, we have lots of affection. Lennon gets so much love and pets and affection from me. I, I talk to her every day, all day long. I cuddle with her. She gets whatever she wants, whenever she wants for the most part. And I also believe with every fiber in my being that this has really contributed to her health, her mental health. This has been scientifically proven actually. It's not just my own anecdote. In 1978, a scientific study called the rabbit effect was conducted in which two sets of rabbits were fed by two different people. And what they discovered was the group of rabbits that were fed by a doctor who was actually speaking to them nicely and giving them pets and giving them affection were less likely to develop heart attacks than the other group of rabbits. I think that this just speaks to the fact that kindness goes a really long way when it comes to bunnies. Even if I'm not feeling it, even if I'm having a bad day, I always make it a point to give Lennon the love that she needs and deserves. Next, regular vet checkups. Is it costly to do this? Absolutely. Is this one of my least favorite things to do? Absolutely. I would say in the past like four years is when Lennon started getting regular checkups because she goes in for her annual RHDV2 vaccine as well. And she gets all the things done, blood work, x-rays, dental, etc. It's really important at senior age to get them checked out regularly because guys, if you discover something early on, it's gonna save you so much time and money and heartache versus if you catch something when it's way too late. At the very least yourself, check for lumps and bumps, check their dental work, check the ears, the eyes, check the stools. You should be looking at this stuff regularly because if anything becomes abnormal, you will know right away. Next, she gets unlimited hay. Now this I regurgitate in like every video. We know rabbits diets are 80% hay. They need a high fiber diet. They need the hay to be able to use the bathroom. It prevents GI stasis. That's like the number one like reason you should be giving your rabbits hay. If you don't want them to go into stasis, then just keep it replenished. And sometimes she herself will ask me for a refill. She knows when she's low on hay and she comes and finds me, you know, lures me over to the litter box with her cuteness and she just like looks at the hay box and she's like, are you gonna refill it or what? I mean, the rabbits are very, very smart. Not just that guys, but you know, the hay keeps the teeth trimmed. That's another thing. It's huge, especially for rabbits who are susceptible to all these dental problems. And finally guys, I give Lennon water in a water bowl. I don't use a water bottle. I am against water bottles for obvious reasons. You know, your rabbit is at a higher risk of dehydration if they use a water bottle. They're just not able to drink naturally. Make sure your bunnies are getting unlimited water and that it's in a water bowl, please. And if you're scared of your bunny tipping over the bowl or something, just get a bowl stander, get a really, really heavy, you know, ceramic bowl that cannot be tipped over. They do exist, I promise. Okay guys, so that is it for how I've been able to keep Lennon alive for so long. You know, she's doing great. She's a trooper. And like I said, we have had our little blips along the way, but that's normal. Make sure that you are interacting with your rabbit regularly and you are checking for things and just not putting them in harm's way. I mean, it, it just goes without saying. Like, don't take your rabbit to the dog park and expose them to life-threatening situations. Take this information, extract it, and apply it to your own bunnies. And, and comment below if you have an older bunny or you had a bunny that lived to be a very old age, tell me what you did to make sure they were healthy and lived to be that, that old. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all soon. Mwah.